everything in the store. Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries. Live life comfortably. There are great stories in education across the valley. Stories of standout students and teachers, innovative programs and curriculums. All dedicated to improving our valley through education. The office of the Fresno County Superintendent of Schools and KC24 are committed to telling these stories. Featuring educational excellence in our community. Education Matters, Mondays at 6.30 on KC24. Local news that matters. Made possible by EECU, Fresno State, and Table Mountain Rancheria. If food's going to be on this table, it's got to be made with love. That's why our familia dinner starts with 10 pieces of fire-grilled pollo and ends with two scratch-made sides and salsas. The $20 familia dinner, El Pollo Loco, Feed the Flame. Tonight, see what everyone's saying about Wednesday's most watched dramas. When Jimmy loses his temper, how much he could kill his brother. While the community continues to mourn the loss of NBA legend Kobe Bryant, a local muralist has decided to create a piece of art that will continue to keep the memory of Bryant and his daughter Gianna alive here in the Valley. Joining me now to tell us more about his piece of art is muralist and tattoo artist Omar Super Huerta. Welcome, Omar. Thank We're you so for excited me. to have you, first Thank of you all. Thank you for having me. Thank Omar, why did you decide to do this? Uh, well, for one, I personally am a a fan of Kobe. I have been since I was a, you know, since I was a kid. So I wanted to uh, share it with everyone else. Now you have to tell us about that process. How, did, how long did it take you to make this mural? It took me uh, two, about three, three different nights, uh, three different days, uh, two nights. Uh, the first night took me about three and a half hours. Secondary, just about another three hours. And uh, the last day took me about about three and a half hours, I'd say yeah. ten hours at the most. And then, okay, that is a mural right there. Why did you decide on this image? Yeah, I mean, you know, him getting, being a great athlete, I kind of wanted to touch uh, more of the family side of him. You know, I wanted to, you know, the father, because I'm also a father, so I think that uh, we all know how iconic he was as far as being him, him being an athlete, but I still wanted to relate more to the families of the incident because of the other families that were there as well. Exactly. So is that the reason why you decided to add Gianna, I'm guessing, to the Yes, mural? yes, definitely. He was, I, I feel like he was more, more touching to hear such news as far as, you know, the side of him being a, you know, a father and all. I think that, yes, we both, we all know that he's a great athlete, but, you know, it, it is the strategy also related to the other families and, you know, all of our loved ones, I'm sure, can, can uh, connect to that a little bit more. And then, you know, this is a beautiful tribute to the Bryan family, but you also added the names of the other victims there as <coughs> well, right? Right, right. Mm -hmm. um, it, it was important for me to do that. You know, it, it, I, we cannot forget about everyone that was there. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, you are a father yourself, Omar, right? Mm -hmm. Does this mural have some type of, like, personal connection as well? Yes, it was. Mm -hmm. uh, I, when I first received the news, that's pretty much what, you know, the first... Uh, the first thing that I thought of, you know, uh, because, you know, seeing him coach Gigi and, uh, and, and, you know, I as a father, too, would love my kids to become painters like I am um, or to be, you know, somehow related to the art. So receiving the news was pretty much more, uh, to me, more touching on that, on that side, that point of view of it. But this isn't the only mural you've done here in Fresno. Talk to me about the other ones. Well, I actually uh, kind of made a, committed myself to paint 100 lo uh, local murals. Uh, this one here would be th the 30th. So I still have, a, still have quite a few more to go. Uh, I'm trying to do, you know, I'm, I, I take requests. Uh, and also I'm just trying to do something that we can uh, all evolve around. And then, you know, besides all of that amazing work, you're also a tattoo artist. Tell us a little mm -hmm. bit about yeah, that. As, yeah, as you can see, I'm a tattoo artist. <laughs> yeah. Yes, um, I own an ink galleria um, down the street from here, over on Winery. 
I've been a tattoo artist for the last 10 years. Um, it, it's, you know, I have two worlds, and they both keep me pretty busy. Exactly, and that's so. some of your work. We're seeing it right there on right. the screen. Mm -hmm. Okay, how could people contact you? How does this happen? Do people show up to your shop and be like, okay, I want this done? How does that process work? I personally would rather do appointments, but yes, anyone's more than welcome to come by, and, you know, and check us out. I have, you know, there's other artists there besides uh, me, so mm -hmm. anyone there is welcome. You can reach me at, uh, through my Instagram. That would be best. I also have a Facebook under the name of Omar Huerta, mm -hmm. uh, but I would say Instagram would be the best way to get a hold of me, definitely. And you guys go see that on the screen, super underscore tattoo, right? Yes, That's a perfect place. Yes, okay, and then we have something very special going on today. You're helping, well, you're doing something special for us, right? right. Can you tell us a little bit about what's going on here? Yeah, you know, I, uh, I also have a, you know, my mental corner what has always been the pencil since I was a kid. So I have, honestly, I do have a lot of drawings that I, you know, I, Kind of help me through whatever I'm going through. So it could be, you know, right now it, it definitely is something that I want to hang up on my wall. So I started drawing a Kobe Bryant. Wow. Okay. And then we have the piece of art here. I don't know if you guys could get a little. There we go. A tight shot. Okay. Why did you decide on this one? Uh, this one, it's uh, it's pretty much how I remember him. Pretty much how how he just stood tall. You know, uh, to me he was, you know, he was, you know, like a hero as a kid. Um, it, it was Michael Jordan and him. Uh, so this, uh, I chose this image here because of the facial expression. Oh, I love it. Well, you know me, I I'm from L.A., so this is something very special. Likewise. Yeah, mm -hmm. it really is. Omar, we're going to be checking up on you throughout the hour, <laughs> so we're going to be seeing more of Omar, okay? Thank you. Thanks a lot, Desiree.